Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to the Home Slice again. Today we've got a bit of a Spyderco Steel showdown, not the last of which we will have in this Manila rope testing. The first frame in the top left is a mule, mule team blade in M398, sent to me by Spyderco, and the second frame is a Spy27 Manix, and the third frame is a CTS XHP Spyderco Chopper Raw. Now, keep in mind that most of the edges that I test hover around the three inch mark or just a little bit over, and so this CTS XHP reading in the Chopper Raw is a little bit lower. It's probably about 20% less edge than the other folders that I that I often test where the other ones are pretty close to that average. I've got to say like right off the bat that I noticed that the Spyderco initial best readings were fairly low for dual grit edges and I think that speaks of probably a, a good heat treatment with good deep burring characteristics or damage removal characteristics. And I also have to say, because it won't be necessarily obvious from watching the sped up video, but the experience that I had on these knives was the best folding knife ergonomics experience that I've had cutting this massive rope. It's quite a, quite a difficult thing, something that <laughs> we could stand to respect all of our edge testers across the internet about is that cutting, you know, 700 feet of cardboard or cutting like a sisal rope like Pete uses, you know, 2,500 times is really a challenging task to do. And so behind the camera, I have wildly different experiences uh, depending on the ergonomics and the edge placement of different knives of how effective they are at doing this like difficult sort of high pressure long time period task and this was the best experience I've had the sculpted ergonomics on the spider coes sometimes you get sculpted ergonomics and they don't quite lock your hand in the right way for it to be comfortable for long tasks and I think spider coes sort of research and development and quality control in terms of ergonomics is pretty unmatched in the folding knife industry. At least I've not found another company myself that pays quite so much attention and sort of cooks on a design for quite so long before releasing it to the public to make sure that it's just right. Probably the best out of the three was the Mule because I've got these 3D printed snap-on handles that are quite hand filling and that was very comfortable. But this Chopperall was surprisingly easy to cut this massive rope with because Sal Glesser just nailed the ergonomics on that. And similarly, the Mannix uh, was quite a joy to cut with and Eric really did a good job with his design on that. The last observation that I'll make before we get to some of the final results was just that I think Spyderco's heat treatment is on point in terms of the working edge that I experienced. And doing this rope cut, it, it doesn't always translate through to the video, but you can feel in your hand when the edge is still fairly low in its width, like the edge apex hasn't rounded over to a really thick, dull structure but you can tell when it sort of rounds over at all versus when it sort of dulls to this working edge that still has a lot of grab and a lot of crisp sort of slicing aggression to sort of keep shearing these rope fibers in a really efficient way and you can feel when you don't have to put quite so much of your pressure and pushing and effort into it because the edge is still working and these things were phenomenal. Like they were so much better than I would say 80% of the edges that I have tested. So I think I personally have to give a nod to Spyderco in their heat treatment process. These specimens were just excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll save more of that input to give some numbers behind it when we do the chart reading at the end. But to get to our final results, CTS XHP 
finished up the test at 13 cuts, and that is better than S35VN did on a dual grit edge. S35VN coming in at 11 cuts, and it matches what CPM154 did on a dual grit edge, but on 20% less edge. Uh, the SPY 27 went for an additional 3 for a reading of 16 cuts, and that is a really, really solid number. It seems like the SPY 27 responded really well to dual grit sharpening. And I think it's worth noting that the XHP and the SPY 27, if you scaled the XHP to the amount of edge that the SPY 27 has, then they probably would have a, a very similar reading, both landing around that 15 or 16 mark. The M398, I didn't really know what to expect with this. I actually anticipated that some of the higher alloy steels might not respond well to dual grit sharpening and they might actually peter out a little bit earlier. But the M398 blew my mind by going for a whopping 30 cuts through this 40 millimeter manila rope and that is the new best stainless steel rating that I have ever observed uh, beating Vanex which went for 20 cuts on this same test so very impressed and I have to say the edge crispness of the M398 was phenomenal so one of the best sort of I don't know how to describe it, but it was it was a working edge, but it was one of the finest, crispest working edges that I have experienced so far in this testing. So very interested to see more from this M398 that Spider Co is working with. But a excellent result from all three of these steels M398 overall taking the second highest reading ever under the 40 cuts, I believe it was. That was done by the Blank Blades 10V blade at 66.5 HRC. Uh, so 40 cuts on the 10V. M398 sitting second highest at 30 cuts. Vanex sitting in third place of all the steels that I have tested. And this SPY 27 is the fourth highest reading. And the XHP is tied for the fifth highest reading. So very, very, very good results for these stainless steels from Spyderco. So coming into the charts, I like to show one chart with a sort of average reading, and S35VN did a sort of average dual grit edge performance at 11 cuts, kind of on the lower side of your average, but decent average. And then the Buck 420HC is sh sort of shows you a lower bound of edge retention. So these Spyderco steels are looking pretty good in terms of those two. All of them surpassed S35VN on a dual grit edge. The readings as the edge wears kind of wander around a little bit, but you'll notice that the Spyderco steels are wandering around predominantly between 200 and 300 grams best. In fact, I, I went back to my data to check and this is the first time ever that any knife has had all of the readings between 200 and 300 grams for the first 10 cuts. And that nearly happened three times. In fact, there's only one low reading on the CTS XHP. You can see there right around eight cuts that was lower than, or the higher I should say, duller than 300 grams on the best. So the observation you can make is that the early edge keenness or the working edge keenness is really excellent. Like these things would feel really good on a dual grit edge, which is to say like the early working edge that they break down to remains fairly close to the initial reading with a lot of that initial keenness and grab being retained in the edge, which is quite cool and certainly is not a normal thing for me to observe in my testing. Usually you're hanging out over 300 grams between there and 400 on the best from cut two or three all the way to the end. So to go through cut 10 is truly exceptional amongst the testing that I have done. I also like to show 
the readings against uh, longer lasting edge and this is the longest lasting edge that we have tested so far you can see the blank blades 10 V went for 40 cuts but that M398 lineette stretches out pretty impressively close considering how that number uh, on the 10V has dwarfed all edges so far. It's pretty impressive how close it reaches out there to it. You can also see dual grit Vanax there in the green and you can see that it performed a little bit longer than XHP and SPY27 at 20 cuts. But you can also see what I'm talking about in that that yellow line and that red line mostly hover up above the green line of Vanex. So most of the working edges of these spider cos were at a keener level for most of the edge life. Not, not every reading, Vanex did great. But you can just see the dynamic that I am referring to previously. I'm really pleased with the results on these. I can't wait to dress them up with another dual grit edge and carry them again and see how this feels in everyday use. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, the last test that I did is on screen now. And for the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.